Hi, Leo. My name is Missy, and I'm here to do the bullshit and the blessings. We're going to dive right into the reading. I'm going to pull a uh, card from the Edgar Allan Poe tarot as our oracle, and then we will get a couple of tarot cards from the TV series tarot, as well as a fortune card to sort of round out the reading. Then we'll look at some charms to see how each day of the week will go. So we're going to give it a couple more shuffles and we'll get right into it. These readings are meant to be timeless and general in nature. If the details fit, they are meant for you. If not, please do not try to make them fit as that would do more harm than good and is not my intention. I am not a doctor, lawyer, or accountant, so if you need advice in those areas, please consult a professional and please do not do something simply because I suggest it in one of these videos. You are an adult who has responsibility for your own life. Please use that responsibility to your to your advantage who it's taken me five times today to get that disclaimer out and this was the smoothest one by far <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and get started with your reading Oh, there we go. Actually, I kind of feel like that was a slip of the hand, but I think we're going to take it anyway. Um, okay, so we have the Hierophant. And as you can see, it says, Lord, help my poor soul. So interesting. This one to me is all about faith. <laughs> Look at that cat, though. Man, he looks ragged. Okay. So what's going on, Leo? You're not feeling so great? Are you feeling beat up? Because if we're looking at... Oh, look at you've got the tower on the bottom of the deck. Um, so maybe there's some sort of chaos going on in your life right now that is uh, got you feeling, you know, pretty beat up. It says, while I gaze, this fissure rapidly widened. There came a fierce breath of the whirlwind. The entire orb of the satellite burst at once upon my sight. My brain reeled as I saw the mighty walls rushing asunder. Wow. So there is some chaos going on. Uh, we're going to actually put that one right there. Let's get some details. So Leo's feeling beat up. Oh, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. That's actually very positive energy. Why are you feeling beat up then? This particular Ace of Pentacles is like, um, it's like a, an offer of some kind, there's some sort of recognition or offer. It could be sudden or unexpected that has you kind of, well, let's get some more cards but with the tower card and the hierophant oh look at now you've got the ace of cups hold up let's get one more <laughs> i have to say though this particular deck the ace of cups in this deck always makes me feel sad it always looks like she's crying um, and, and it's because this dove brings in this letter right this news I feel like this is some sort of piece of information and then look at how the cup she's spilling the the contents of the cup and they're falling just out of that eye there so whatever this news is it shocks it shocks you and it it might even make you cry now i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because this particular ace is a very positive ace like this is like being offered a record deal that's that's literally you know so um, and I'm not saying you're going to be offered a record deal. I'm just saying you might be offered some sort of some kind of contract or something that 
or something. There's some some sort of offer that may be unexpected and it could make you cry. Um, but let's see what's going on. Right there. Look at the lovers. Oh my God, somebody wants to be with Leo. Um, you will have a decision, a choice to make, though, because that's the thing about the lovers. Oh, look. And whatever this choice is, you're going to feel trapped. Ooh, interesting. Um, but you you are keeping yourself trapped. Whatever it is that you think is trapping you is not trapping you. It's your own. It's your own in your head. Um, so we're going to put that there. That's why you feel sad. That's why you're crying when you get whatever this offer of love is. And that's what it definitely looks to me like. It's an offer of love. But you maybe aren't as excited about it as, you know, the recipient is ho or the, uh, the person who's offering is hoping that you'll be. Okay, interesting. So it, this is saying for the first one, you if you can read that, it says the home or environment, which is talking about like your immediate surroundings, right? The situation that you find your, yourself in when you're at your, your most comfortable right or the situation that's closest to you or most immediate in your uh, in your surroundings and so when you come next to it it's talking about romance which we already knew because of the lovers um, and then we've got this institution and facility so it, it's because it's a commitment and it's like I think it might be something that you've been wishing for as well right but I think that scares you because it's such a commitment um, I'm not going to lie. I think this is maybe the kind of commitment you've been hoping for, especially because look at these numbers. It's like 8, 9, 10. And the thing is, is a 10 actually breaks down to a 1, which is an ace. So, and these are, you know, it's almost like 1, 2, 3 hearts here. Like, I don't know. I just feel like whatever this is, it's like you're thinking it's too good to be true or it's a wish come true. And you're like, okay, well, it scares the shit out of you. Uh, something and now you've got a decision to make because um, you feel trapped for whatever reason uh, like you can't um, I have to be honest I, I think you feel trapped like you can't accept it because that's kind of what the energy of this card is. It's like my hands are tied. It's like it's like she's saying, my hands are tied. My hands are tied. I can't I can't do anything. But really, she, um, she her hands aren't actually tied. She's just holding them behind her back. Like she's really not restrained in any way. So take that however it resonates. I don't think there's any reason that you can't accept that you think you can't accept. Okay. Okay, so to start off with on Sunday, we have the green man. So a lot of abundance, fertility. This is also divine masculine uh, energy. Uh, so and we also have the feather here. So this could be where you hear some news or there is some communication coming in from someone of masculine energy. Uh, on Monday, we have the... Uh, the footprints, we have the match, we have a lantern, the letter E, and the mountains. Okay, so what's interesting about this is that this lantern is turned over, and lanterns are obviously lit by fire. And this particular match was not meant to be in my charm box at all. It was a mistake. I tried. I was lighting one of my candles one day, and apparently the tip of the match, after or as it was burning, landed in my charm box. And I'm lucky I didn't burn the place down. So I always see this as danger when it comes into a charm reading. Um, and so because of the lantern here, like... And I always see the lantern as clarity or, you know, 
be something lighting the way, um, you know, a guide, right? A guide, there's guidance, but there's something about this particular guidance, especially because you have these footprints here, like someone is coming in to support you on Monday. It could be someone with the initial E, maybe they're supporting you as you're, you know, climbing this mountain, because that's what the mountain represents as some sort of obstacle that's like a difficult climb, but there's danger here. Um, so take that however it resonates. There's either some sort of danger in the guidance that you're receiving that you need to be careful of, or that's the reason that you have this support coming in to guide you along the way because what you're trying to do is dangerous, okay? So on Tuesday, we don't have anything. On Wednesday, we have the charm that says, I choose strength. For Thursday, you've got the letter B. For Friday, you have the... Um, the Bible or the prayer box, which happens to have other charms inside of it. And this particular charm, the message of it is, is the blessing of faith. It's saying that you always have the blessing of faith at your disposal. You only need to pray and have faith that your that you will your prayers will be answered. And so that's coming in on Friday along with the um, charm for Saturn. So it's talking about like karma right? So um, again, when you've got this right here, um, the blessings of faith coming in with the, the charm for karma, uh, this could be karmic blessings that are coming in for you on Friday. And then we do have on Sunday, the cat. So um, this particular cat uh, could be related to like your your mother or someone who takes on a maternal figure in your life who um, maybe they're trying to give you some sort of advice or intuition that maybe you that you intuitively or instinctively know is good advice but you're ignoring it and I say ignoring it because it did come out upside down um, and this is a button right this is something that would secure two things together so again, take that however it resonates, uh, you know, you're ignoring this instinct, this intuition um, that's coming in for you on Saturday. Okay, so I hope that resonates. Uh, if it does not, please stick around. There may be another reading for you here on the channel that does. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, whatever you can to help me uh, get my channel out there as I'm here. And I thank you for watching.